I'm over 60, and all my classmates and former playmates are also in their 60s. And when we meet and talk, I realize that most of us wish we had paid attention to certain things when we were younger. If you are in your 20s or 30s, you think being 60 is such a long way off. But the truth is that it isn't. You'll be 60 before you know it. In the hope of helping someone to avoid the regret trap at 60, I share with you 10 things you will regret at age 60. If you do something about this now, you will ensure that your old age becomes glorious and enjoyable. So, here we go. 1. Not making the most of time. Time is the raw material of life. When you waste time, you are wasting your life. Yet many young people waste a lot of time in all kinds of ways. Young people think they have all the time in the world, and so they don't live with urgency. They don't take time management seriously. In your sixties, you would ask yourself where all the city years have gone. You will regret not making the most of the time you have had. Two, not saving or investing enough. It is easy to get into the habit of living from hand to mouth and not putting anything aside for a rainy day. It is easy not to consider investing. When you are young, you think your income is not enough and that you would wait for the day when you are earning a bigger income to save. The truth is, today, with a little adjustment in your lifestyle and expenditure pattern, you can begin to save on the same income you are on. It takes discipline. But if you don't learn that discipline when you are earning little, you will still not be able to save when you are earning big. And the lack of savings and investments will make your old age difficult and without dignity. Three, not spending more time with your family. When you are young, there's a temptation to put your family last. You are busy climbing the corporate ladder. You are busy making a name for yourself in the community. You wake up early and rush out of the house. You return late when everyone is asleep. Weekends, you are busy chasing money. Before you know it, you are on retirement and you are alone or lonely. You see, when you don't make time for your family, your, pa- your family grows apart from you and get used to living their lives without you. In your cities, you'll be, you'll be on retirement and you now have all the time in the world and wish your family will come around, but they will not know how to fit you into their lifestyle and into their shadows since you did not fit them into yours. Four, not reading enough. When you are younger, you are so busy running around that you seldom make the time to sit down to read a book. Many educated people in their 30s have not made the time to read any book since they left school. In your 60s, you will realize the harm you have done yourself by not reading enough, and you will regret that very much. Five, not controlling your sexual urges. When you are young, you tend to be controlled by your sexual urges instead of controlling them. A young person can travel from Accra to Tamale just because a girl he wants to take to bed. There are people who are willing to jeopardize their health just to get a sexual encounter. There are people who are willing to compromise the interests of their companies or organizations in exchange for a sexual encounter. Young people scoff at the wisdom of controlling their sexual urges. The result is that in your 60s, you look back on all your sexual escapades with regret. You will look at the many children you've, you've had with different women and wish you had stuck to just one woman. You will look at the many health problems you have because of your sexual indiscretions. And you will wish you had kept your flap zipped. Six, when you are young, you think that what people think about you is important. And you put yourself under stress just to please or court the favorable opinion of others. It is useless to invest time and energy caring about what people who don't care about you think. The truth is, those who care about you are willing to accept you for who and what you are. Seven, not taking better care of your body and of your health. The body you have today is the same one that is going to take you to the end of your days on this earth. You will not be given another body. When you are young, your body can stand a lot of abuse and neglect, but it does not mean that it has not been affected. In your old age, you will receive a bill for all the abuse you inflicted on your body, and you will not like it at all. So, as a young person, adopt a healthy lifestyle. Eat healthy. Learn to rest. 
make time to exercise, cut down on booze and smoke. And in your old age, you will still have a body that is in good shape. Take good care of your body today, and it will take care of you in your old age. Eight, not investing in others. In life, you reap what you sow. Someday, you will become dependent on people. On that day, it is the people in whose life you have made any investment that you can count on. If you have lived only for yourself, you will find yourself deserted. If you have lived only for money, you will find that money cannot take care of you when you are down. In your 20s and 30s, use your resources to invest in others, and you would reap when you are down and out in your sissies. Nine, not persevering enough. In your sissies, you will be surprised at how many things could have come your way if only you had persevered a little more when you were younger. Too many of us give up too easily. But life surrenders only to those who do not give up. Life surrenders only to those who persevere. And finally, 10. Not living your passion. Many of us forsake our passion and spend our lives chasing only what will bring us money. Well, you regret that in your cities. I know people in their 70s who do not have a password to their name, but they spend each day feeling very fulfilled because they lived their passion. And it has brought them so much fulfillment and joy. By all means, chase money. But don't do that to the exclusion of pursuing your passion. And when chasing money and living your passion clash, please choose your passion. It will ensure that your sisters are filled with happy memories and a grateful and adoring society making you retire. I'm over 60, and all my classmates and former playmates are also in their 60s. And when we meet and talk, I realize that most of us wish we had paid attention to certain things when we were younger. If you are in your 20s or 30s, you think being 60 is such a long way off. But the truth is that it isn't. You'll be 60 before you know it. In the hope of helping someone to avoid the regret trap at 60, I share with you 10 things you will regret at age 60. If you do something about this now, you will ensure that your old age becomes glorious and enjoyable. So, here we go. 1. Not making the most of time. Time is the raw material of life. When you waste time, you are wasting your life. 